This is the new uh, iPad app from Sonos, which allows you to control uh, Sonos music players using an iPad. Sonos uh, makes it really easy to set up a multi-room sound system. Here's one in the living room. There's another player in the kitchen. And uh, using the Sonos um, app, you can control them both together. So the app just came out today. It's really easy to set up onto your uh, iPad. Uh, let's turn the music down. Here's a volume control. And uh, you can control both players at the same time or individually. Let's turn up the volume in the kitchen. Um, or we'll turn them both uh, up and down together. So this is a really, really slick app. Um, I'm really impressed with it. it uh, it's so easy to use. Um, you know, there's no need to <laughs> to crack a manual. You know, you just get going. Um, everything's very, very intuitive. So you can um, scrub through tracks, um, pause, skip. You know, adjust the volume. On the left here, you have uh, the different uh, players. There's, here's the uh, player in the kitchen, and here's the one in the living room. And you can play songs, uh, the same songs to both players, uh, or to individual players. So you can have music playing just the kitchen or just the living room. Um, and of course, you can at uh, at attach you know as many of these as you want. But at 500 bucks a pop, you know it can get uh, pretty expensive pretty quickly. Um, here we have uh, information about the music that's playing, and um, here's a playlist, a queue uh, of um, of music. And it's very easy to uh, queue music up into this. You just um, drag and drop it to the queue, and uh, you can set up um, you know as many. Um, you can even drag albums here. 17 tracks, uh, just an airplane added to that queue. Uh, the music library, uh, it's really well integrated with um, iTunes. Uh, it um, imports artists' albums, composers, and so on and so forth. Also, playlists. So all the playlists you already have in iTunes are already brought in here. Um, here's Purchase Music, for example. So uh, this is my Purchase Music playlist. And it's brought in from, from iTunes. Um, it has genius lists. Oh, I didn't bring those in. Uh, and, uh, you know, one of the, my favorite features is the internet radio. So it knows my zip code. And here are my local radio stations here in San Francisco. And uh, there's a pretty good selection. Playing one is as easy as hitting it. Play now. thinking so here it comes and uh, I'm from London so I like to listen to uh, music from my hometown uh, and here's a couple of favorites I added BBC Radio London Isn't that awesome? And um, it's also well integrated with uh, online music services under the More Music Menu button here. Last FM, Napster, Pandora, Rhapsody, and Sirius. So if you have a uh, satellite radio subscription, you can play it through uh, the iPad app here. Wolfgang's Vault, uh, and you can add more choices. They just signed a deal with... Um, Spotify in London, which hopefully is coming to the U.S. sooner or later. Uh, but they also have Moo coming soon, which is a similar service here in the U.S. So this is a really slick app. I can't believe it. I'm really jazzed about this. Uh, the music is awesome. Uh, and it's connected. It's actually streaming music from a um, network attack storage drive where I have all my music stored. So this took two seconds to set up, and it is really slick. I'm super impressed.